Uh, speaking to me now is Welsh boxer Jacob Lovell. Uh, Jacob, um, you're making your pro debut on Saturday. Uh, how do you feel about that? I uh, feel good. Um, training's gone well, everything's gone well. I just uh, can't wait to get in and do the job, to be honest. And um, before we talk about your, your pro debut is coming up, now, um, can you just tell us about your, uh, your amateur background? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, how you got into boxing? Well, uh, I got into boxing. Well, my older brother used to do boxing, so I uh, got it from him, really. And uh, I had about probably about 60, 65 amateur fights. Uh, won four Welsh titles, a uh, British title and a, a youth Commonwealth silver as well. And then uh, I decided then to turn professional and with uh, MTK Global. And uh, I'm trained by Gary, obviously. And uh, what, um, what what amateur boxers were on the Welsh setup on the Welsh scene when you were boxing as an amateur? Uh, well, it was uh, me and uh, Rhys Edwards. Rhys is me like my stable mate now, obviously. <laughs> And uh, Sammy Lee, uh, Mickey McDonough, uh, we met uh, Jay Munn, uh, John Paul Wilson was in it, James Probert. Um, that's about it, really. That's, that's all. And uh, w what were your reasons for turning pro? I just, I, I, I've always, I, since I was a little kid, I, I've always wanted to turn pro at a young age, you know. So uh, I've always had it in my mind to turn pro young, so. No time to waste, then, you know what I mean? And um, what are your ambitions in professional boxing? What's your dream? Well, it's the same as every boxer, right? Obviously, I want to win a world title. That's my dream, obviously, do you know what I mean? So, if I can get there, I'll be happy. <laughs> and um, do you know much about the, your opponent you're fighting on Saturday night? Uh, yeah, well, I've looked at him. It's, uh, it's Michael Mooney, it is. Uh, stays on the back foot, you know, tough journey, man. But uh, be glad to get the rounds in, to be honest. So, can't wait. I mean, as you mentioned there, you're an experienced amateur, and, and these days quite a lot of the, the experienced amateurs get fast-tracked a little bit. I mean, is that what you're hoping with your career, or, or do you want to take it uh, steady? I mean, you're still relatively young. Well, just take it one step at a time, really. Whatever, whatever Gary and, uh, and, and my managers put in front of me, I'll um, do what they say, really, do you know what I mean? I'm not really in a rush on myself, to be honest. I just want to have a couple of learning fights first, you know what I mean, and then and see what comes, really. And uh, what's it like? training with Gary and the rest of his pro boxers here in Cardiff? I enjoy training with, uh, training with Gary, it's just, as soon as, as soon as I went on the pads of him, it was just it's someone about it that I liked, you know? And uh, I've, I've been on the pads with a lot of coaches, but uh, Gary, he's, he's learnt me a lot, to be honest. And uh, it's, it's a good crowd in here. Me and the boys have some good banter, you know, before training, but, uh, but when it's time to train, it's strictly training, you know? And I mean, how tough is the training compared to some of the, the things you've done in the past in, in your amateur days? It's a, it's a lot different than the amateurs because, uh, well, when, when I was amateur, I was, I was always boxing at the wrong weight. But uh, Gary's getting me down to my weight now. <laughs> He's not having none of that, do you know what I mean? But uh, well, the last time I went in the Welsh Championships, I boxed at 69. And uh, I sh shouldn't have been nowhere near that weight, do you know what I mean? So uh, back down to my proper weight now, back down to light welter. And uh, how tough? I'll, to I'll probably go down to lightweight as well after. So, and how tough has it been dropping that extra bit of weight? It, it hasn't really been tough as it goes because uh, obviously before I was eating all the wrong foods and everything. You know what I mean? But now I've started eating right, eating proper. I found it found it easy. Obviously, I still crave still crave foods and that, but uh, but uh, it's a lot easier now. Do you know what I mean when you when you know what you're eating? Um, obviously, for boxers like yourself, ticket sales are important. Um, if anyone wants to get hold of you to get any tickets, how do they get in contact with you? Uh, well, I'm on I'm on all social media. I'm on uh, I'm on Instagram. You can find me Jacob Lovell. Uh, Facebook Jacob Lovell, and uh, Twitter Jacob Lovell as well. And uh, what's it like training alongside your stable mate behind you, Reese Edwards, who's poking faces? <laughs> <laughs> oh, me and Reese. Oh yeah, God, good laugh. <laughs> good laugh. Yeah, really good laugh. What's it like training with uh, Jacob, uh, Reese? Oh, he's a nightmare. He's looking oh, good. Yeah, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking good. They can't wait to watch him fight now. He's looking awesome. Sparring well. I think he's got a crush on me, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, I guess I look look forward to your fight on Saturday night, and um, hopefully follow your career, and hopefully catch up for an interview uh, after a couple of wins on your belt. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, can't wait.